This is In Focus. I'm Jennifer Fuller. WSIU and the SIU School of Medicine are partnering on a new podcast project that focuses on climate and healthcare, but it may not have the focus that you might think of. The project is called So Ill, and it involves School of Medicine students, as well as staff and faculty, as well as others who are focusing on how climate impacts health and how health impacts climate. One of those medical students is Imad Khan. Imad, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. So the project is called So Ill, mm -hmm. and it's kind of a play on Southern Illinois, mm -hmm. kind yeah. of a play on medicine itself. Yeah. But it really takes a closer look at not just healthcare, but healthcare's impact on the climate and climate's impact on health. Yeah. Why is that so important to someone who's studying medicine? Well, I think for us as medical students, it's very easy to get absorbed into focusing on like the medicine and the science behind everything we do. But we as a group are trying to acknowledge that there's a lot more to healthcare. Um, people's environments is really important. And in today's world with climate change, we really wanna focus on understanding how that climate is intersecting with our healthcare for our patients. And then also how we as providers and as like, um, you know, medical professionals, how we're impacting the environment, which might, you know, kind of continue this cycle of the health and environment negatively impacting each other. When people think about climate and the impact on the climate, a lot of times they think about things like air pollution, water yeah. pollution, access to some of those clean resources mm -hmm. and how in areas like Southern Illinois, that's not always easy. Yeah. But one of the focused uh, projects that you have, specifically the one you're working on, is transportation. And yeah. that gets to the access. Why did you choose that? And, and what are you hoping to focus on there? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think our focus with the transportation element is just acknowledging that a lot of people's healthcare outcomes are related to their accessibility to healthcare. Um, and it's not just necessarily accessibility to healthcare, it might be more day to day living things that are important, like, you know, your groceries or, you know, just having healthy options for foods. Like, if the only thing around you is fast food and gas stations, it becomes so much harder to follow that um, diet that your doctor's prescribed for you. So, kind of factoring in the whole transportation element in there was important for my group. Um, and then also kind of understanding how um, transportation in general messes with people's health in both positive and negative ways. Uh, mental health is a big one, you know, like in this area of the country, there's not a whole lot of traffic, which is a great part, but um, you know, long commutes and people still here, like even though we're not in a city, we still have long commutes for some people. So kind of understanding how those long commutes and then those distances between accessibility um, how those things factor into health is important for us. Just scratching the surface, you're talking about sedentary lifestyles, mm -hmm. people not moving around yeah. as much, but you might also be taking a look at, well, you talked about commutes, sitting in traffic, maybe some blood pressure issues. Definitely, yeah, blood pressure is up there. Um, and with blood pressure, it's just become like any sort of heart disease and um, other metabolic issues. What about the impact that you will have as a physician on climate change, and that's more than just your patient's outcomes, but how the healthcare system and, and the machine of healthcare mm -hmm. really plays into climate change as well. How do you hope to impact change there? Well, I think for all of us, it's our goal is to better understand how we can minimize our impact on the environment. Like, you know, we as people, most of what we're gonna do is going to mess with the environment, but our goal is to try to limit how much we're negatively impacting the environment. And I think that's very apparent if you spend some time in the hospital, the goal in a hospital is to limit like, you know, spread of disease and infections and such, which is great. But with that comes a lot of wasted materials. You know, you don't reuse gloves, you don't reuse masks, you don't reuse any equipment and all of that goes into the trash can. And where does that go? And there's lots of medical waste too, like human waste and things like that. Um, where does that all go? So understanding like we kind of process what's going on before that, you know, like let me take care of this patient, but we don't really think about what happens when we throw those gloves in the trash can. So for our group, we really want to understand how we can try to understand and mitigate that um, process of our impact on the environment. I see this a lot with students today really taking a closer look at their own impact mm -hmm. on the environment, on climate change. And so when they enter the workforce, they're already thinking about ways to be more resourceful, to reduce, reuse, recycle, those mm -hmm, things definitely. that you've heard about since you were children. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's a way for incoming medical students, incoming residents and, and attending physicians to really make a change in those areas? Well, on a personal scale, there's definitely always a way um, in just your habits that you have in the hospital and um, the way you kind of carry your profession. But beyond that, our goal would be to understand like how we can 
influence laws and policies and hospital regulations to change some of those effects because we as individuals can play our role, which is great, but to make like really impactful differences, it would, I would just say the main thing would be to be getting involved with policymaking and getting involved with, with groups like our own, which might help us to um, kind of bring these issues to attention in healthcare. The So Ill podcast launches around Earth Day this year, fitting, and you can find it at WSIU.org. Imad, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you for having me. And you've been joining us on In Focus. I'm Jennifer Fuller.